Good morning, chaps. Welcome along to the vlog. Uh, I've gathered around me is pretty much the aftermath of the weekend's uh, remote bar. All this needs putting away at some point, but I ain't going to be doing that. This morning, I'm going to crack on as fast as possible and get these pillars or these brick piers built with reinforcing this time while we're closed. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we don't open till four o'clock. So that gives me three days to get these pillars up and then they can set for the rest of the week. And then maybe on Friday, we'll try once again to put the railings in. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna dive straight in. I'm gonna cut my first few pieces of rebar and uh, mix up some mortar. So these two pieces of rebar are going to be hammered into the foundation and then I'm going to build the bricks up around them. I think I'm just going to do two pieces of bar per pier, but uh, if I don't think it's sufficient I will up that to four per pier, one for each corner, but we'll see how we go with this. It's a lovely day outside folks, it's a lovely day to be rebuilding the wall and Things are going to plan, aren't they, Jem? Absolute words. So, across here, you will now notice some steel rising from the brickwork because, yes, we have indeed reinforced the whole goddamn thing. Check it out. I just need to cut some more of that timber back. I got the chainsaw running, but. She ain't cutting very well. We'll rub that lot off. So I'm just gonna go in there with a the hand so you can kind of just see. In the corner I'm a bit close, so I'm just gonna take the corner off of that timber. And then the piers are rising majestically out of the wall. I'm really actually quite chuffed how they're turning out. And they feel like solid. So we shouldn't have a problem with them. And Chancy Boy is just sat here, aren't you? Supervising. You the foreman, buddy? You the foreman? Yeah. He is. But yeah, very pleased indeed with how it's going today. So, uh, we're going to have to go and buy some more bricks. So now we've got pretty much, I've used the old bricks to do the base foundation, the bottom part of the piers. Because they're going to be the easiest to clean with the brick acid. And then we'll put the new bricks obviously higher up and then I'm also going to have to purchase a new pier cap and uh, pop that bad boy on I think Stuart's ordered them already actually 22 by 15 inch right let's go and pop the camera back down and uh, well carry on it's about four o'clock and my back's telling me it's time to quit so let's go and have a look at what we've done and 
get ready to wrap up for the day because I don't think I could put myself through much more today and do it tomorrow as well. I think it would be a little bit counterproductive. So if I, uh, if I just pack up for the day, then tomorrow uh, I'll have a fresh back and I should be able to get these finished. So this is where we are. So that pillar is 50% complete. 50% complete, 30 and 25. So uh, there's all the bricks that I've got to do. Probably around uh, 150, 160 bricks still to go because obviously these piers are considerably more substantial now. But looking at that, I can't see these bad boys going anywhere, to be fair. A little bit of a shaky start initially to get everything lined up, but we're there now and the the actual railings will fit in between, thank God. Well, I think uh, my back ain't gonna let me stay at work for much longer, so I'm gonna shoot home and uh, kind of relax. Uh, getting geared up, obviously, for another big bricklaying session tomorrow. The brewery is looking a little bit of a bomb site. We did manage to get the bitter out last week, as you know, but the red stroke brown ale is still in the tank, as is uh, a batch of the vacant. And I also want to order some grain and hopefully brew this week, or at the very latest, early next. So I could really do with getting these jobs put to bed and then focusing on the brewing again a little bit more. So I've been pretty busy the past week or two with uh, the brickwork, the railings, the mobile bar, all these kind of things have taken up quite a little bit of my time. Uh, and I think it's time to focus back on the brewery a little bit now. I still need to pick up those uh, bottle labels. We want to be bottling some beers. All that kind of stuff really needs to start to happen ASAP. Uh, I did manage to taste some of the brown stroke red ale last week and uh, I don't think that the addition of the centennial hops on the dry hop have actually helped it any. I think, uh, if anything, it's taken away from what would probably have been a, a nice tasty red ale. So I think that would be a mistake moving forwards if we were to brew a beer similar to that again. I don't think we'd need the dry hop addition. Uh, but we'll see how it goes on the bar. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to call it yet. Uh, I need to do a pump clip for that also, but I'm, I mean, it's sat at seven degrees at the minute in the tanks, so I'm in no rush to get it out. Uh, I also wanted to quickly mention uh, thanks to everybody on the Patreon page. Uh, in order to give everybody a little bit of a benefit over there, uh, I know everyone's just helping out and uh, nobody really wants anything from being a Patreon apart from me to continue to make this content for YouTube and for your, the viewers out there. Uh, but one thing I've decided to do, and this is in line with a lot of what other YouTubers do, if I can get my words out, tongue tied again. So this is in line uh, with what a lot of other YouTubers do, which is uh, release all the content a day or two early on the Patreon page, and then of course, uh, it will go up onto YouTube a couple of days later for anybody who's not supporting the channel in that respect. So if you're not a Patreon, feel free to go over there. You can sign up for a couple of dollars and that'll give you early access to all the vlogs. Um, and other than that, folks, uh, I'm gonna pack up. You can tell I'm tired, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna pack up, I'm gonna go home and I'm going to try and get fully rested for tomorrow and hopefully uh, we'll knock this brickwork on the head and we can start to maybe do some brewing on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe. No promises. Right then. See you tomorrow, folks. See you tomorrow.